Let me get you started on how to do this recipe. You just have to add a little bit of oil there. Now, for this, like I told Joe Pache, we are not going to boil penette at all. We're going to fry them. And to do that, you want to start with some olive oil in a big pan. And I mean a big pan because you want those penette to absorb the olive oil and to be nicely toasted. So I want to put about three tablespoons of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, in a large frying pan and get that hot. And then for this recipe, we need one pound of penette, tiny little penne. You know that means little small pen in Italian. So there they are. So that's going to go in dry. Trust me, this is going to come out just fine. So I think my olive oil is just about where I want it. I'm going to put it down a little bit and put these in. And now the idea, of course, is to brown these and to keep your eye on it as they brown. So give them a good stir. And you see why it's important to have a big pot so that the penetti are not sitting on top of one another, but rather are getting an even coating of that olive oil. So now I'm going to let that go for a little bit, but I'm going to have to come back to that, and you're going to have to help me keep my eye on it. Anyway, I only got about a dollar's worth, but here, these are porcini dried, and in Italy, these are enormous, these mushrooms in size, and they have a very woodsy, very woodsy flavor. And they need to be soaked. So here they are soaked. And I've got, oh, about a half an ounce of porcini soaking in the liquid. And you want those to soak about 30 minutes until they're soft. And then you can take them and just squeeze all of the liquid out. But you don't want to get rid of this liquid. This you want to save because you're going to be adding that to the penette. So there are my porcini. And then with that, I want to put shiitake because they're a little cheaper and of course they're not an Italian mushroom, they're a Japanese mushroom, but they give a very nice flavor with this. So here are my uh, chopped up shiitake and here's what a shiitake mushroom looks like uh, when it isn't chopped and I'm going to chop that one up too so I can add it with everything. So now that I have these here, let me just give that a little chop. I got to keep an eye on my my penette. So get these diced up. Now, what am I going to do with those? Well, get some olive oil going. And let me see how we're doing here. Now, these are starting to brown. I don't know if you can see that, but so get your mushrooms and just put them into that olive oil, you see, just like that. Get them all and add your uh, parsley with it. All you want to do is saute that down a little bit. And I may give that a little bit of salt and pepper, too. So I'm using coarse butcher's pepper, which is always on my counter, and sea salt. I like the flavor of sea salt, so that goes in. And now just a little stir. Now, after that cooks down a little bit, I'm going to add a few other things. Now, let me see how we're doing here. All right, now this is getting to the point where I am almost ready to add the next ingredient. You see how those are toasting? I may have to turn that down just a little bit because I want to control that. I wonder if you can see how that's now toasting up and it's unevenly toasted. And now I need to put in the next ingredient. And this will wake you up for this dinner. We've got a little bit of brandy here and you want, oh, about six tablespoons. That's about six tablespoons. And now, <laughs> You really want this to evaporate. I'm saying it's not going to take very long. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as that evaporates, well, then you want to start adding your chicken broth. You see why it's important to have the hot chicken broth. So here's the chicken broth. Now, you see, that didn't take long at all. And now I've got about three and a half cups. I want that to go right in. And now I just want to stir that around. And it smells absolutely wonderful. And I'm just going to let that cook now until most of that chicken broth is absorbed. My mushrooms look good. And it's time to add the next thing to this, which is some of that porcini liquid that we saved. Here it is that from the mushrooms that I squeezed. And here it is in just a little container. So about a half a cup of the porcini liquid goes in. 
And now if I wanted to, I could give that also a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. This is why it helps to have two hands, you see. So salt and pepper go in. And now at the end, when that has reduced a bit, I'm going to add some cream to that, but not just yet. So let me get this out of the way. And, oh, I forgot to put in these. Well, we can put those in now, too. Well, cooking, you know, you have to improvise. Those will cook down right in the liquid. So I've added my shiitake now. And now we need to add the other ingredients to our mushrooms. Let me see how my shiitake look. Yes, you see, a shiitake will do whatever you want it to do at whatever point you are in your cooking. So now I can turn that up a little bit. And here I have, oh, about six tablespoons of heavy cream. So that goes in, and you see how quickly this sauce goes together. Add cheese, and this is our Parmigiano cheese. So in that goes, and that's a cow's milk cheese. I've talked to you about this cheese before. And so we don't need really any additional salt in here because that cheese has a sort of salty flavor. All right, now I'm going to let that cook, and I think I better taste that. You know, somebody's got to do this, I know. Let me just taste it. I'll let you know how it is. Let me see here. You'd love it. Believe me, it's delicious. And now, how are we doing on penette? Well, I'll tell you, these need to be tasted too. So let me get another spoon and taste that. And you see now, look at this, how nice and colorful that is. I don't know if you can see that. And it's got a little bit more cooking to go here before it's just quite right. That does look like about enough for me to sample, though. Sono muta come un pesce. I'm speechless. It's delicious. And it should be crunchy. This pasta should be cooked a little bit crunchy. So now, let me see how we're doing here. That looks good. Okay, I think we can get ready for this. Enough talk. So now when you serve pasta, of course, you want to make sure you're doing it in a platter, not a bowl. Because the mistake of having pasta served in a bowl is that whatever sauce you have tends to go to the bottom of the bowl. And you really want it to cover the pasta nicely. So now, I'm going to turn this off because this is ready. Now this goes right into here. See how easy this is? All that wonderful mushroom flavor goes right in. And now, all I have to do is give this a good stir. It is definitely ready, and it's crunchy where it should be. All right, so I'm going to uh, shut off the heat, and now take it over and pour it right out onto my platter. You see that? Isn't that wonderful? And then, if you wanted to dress that up even more, well, you could give it some more of that fresh parsley.